Welcome back to Dude We Can Build It. Today, we are completing the kitchen. We will start by installing the cabinets. First, the cabinets are brought inside and set in place. The location of the lower cabinets are marked on the wall and on the floor. Then, they are attached to the walls with three inch wood screws. It is important to mark stud locations so that the cabinets are properly secured. The upper cabinet locations are marked before installation and all cabinets are checked with a level before they are secured. The island is then placed over the electrical stub up so that we can add outlets later. And finally, the doors are attached and adjusted to close properly. Once the install crew leaves, it's time to stain the cabinets. Before we start, I blow all the cabinets out with a leaf blower and wipe all the surfaces down with a damp rag to make sure there's no sawdust remaining. Now that the cabinets are clean, we begin applying the stain with rags. I chose Minwax Cherry Stain and High Gloss Sealer for this project. After the first coat of stain is applied, we let it dry and then apply a second coat of stain to get a darker color. I'll wait a couple of days and then apply two coats of sealer. This will keep the finish looking great for years to come and also make the cabinets easier to clean as they won't soak up any spilled liquids. I want to give a shout out to the Pierce family for helping stain the cabinets. Y'all were awesome. I picked out some nice black quartz for the countertops and a two bowl stainless steel sink for the kitchen. Quartz is a man-made material that has the appeal of natural stone without the maintenance. It is non-porous and does not need to be periodically sealed. The material is cut and polished off-site, so the install goes pretty quick. They do measure and drill the holes for the faucets on-site. The massive slab for the island is very heavy, but once it's in place, it provides a nice overhang for the bar stools. The bathrooms are also getting quartz countertops. The quartz is off-white with some colorful streaks. They are installing matching backsplash and rectangular undermount sinks in the bathrooms. Once everything is in place, it's time to install the faucets and drains. In the kitchen, 
I chose a sleek all-in-one fixture with a retractable head for easy operation. The shower is professionally installed and uses the Schluter system. The Schluter system is comprised of various components that guarantee a waterproof backing before the tile is installed. This way, if water happens to get behind the tile and grout, it will still be directed to the drain and will not cause mold in the walls. You can identify a Schluter shower by the distinct orange waterproofing membrane that is adhered to the walls before the tile is installed. My buddy Travis with Flooring by Holmes helped me pick out the tile and Samson Floor Design did the beautiful install. Now we are ready to install the shower valve and the spray nozzle. Backsplash is a great opportunity to get creative and create a unique aesthetic. I have not installed the backsplash yet because I am undecided on what material to use. Leave a comment if you have any suggestions for the backsplash. Check back in for the price breakdown and final walkthrough videos. And thanks for watching, Dude We Can Build It.